Hello and welcome to our Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, December 30th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I align my actions with decisions by my higher self. Whew. Okay, so we're down to two days left in 2021 and they are definitely pushing the work. It's like, all right, let's finish this up strong. Um, and my best advice to you is be present for this work. So uh, if you watched yesterday, I was talking about um, Mercury coming through and connecting to both Venus and Pluto. So we finished that up uh, early, early, early Thursday morning. Uh, let's see, it looks like 1.53 a.m. <laughs> it's like a.m. or p.m. A.m. is when we make that last little conjunction between Mercury and Pluto. So even as you watch this, if you watch this tonight, you may have some challenging thoughts. You may have fears. You may have traumas, whether this life or another life, coming up for you to be present for. Capricorn energy, part of that responsibility is the call to presence. And that is so empowering, not to run from these uncomfortable feelings, these uncom uncomfortable energies, but to be able to be present for them. So I encourage you, I encourage your presence. And then that Venus energy, I encourage you to like show up for yourself in and through that energy. What do you need from whatever is coming up for you? That being said, it is not quite done yet. <laughs> so as the day progresses a little bit, we have the moon in Scorpio being like, all right, I'm going to run going to run over these. I'm going to connect in to the Venus, to the Pluto, and to the Mercury energy. So again, there may be some emotional energies coming up to be processed. Gotta hand it to these cards. I think they really, really demonstrate the process. So here we have the Thunderbolt. This is the feels in their glory, whatever it is that's moving through that needs to be expressed and uh, moved through. And then we have a letting go, which it is a card of emotions. It is a cups card. And so there is an emotional uh, content to it. I also love the totality card, which is like, be here now. Be in this moment. And I love this. You're not going to be dropped. The universe isn't dropping you. This is just part of the process. So we've got that energy going on. I especially actually love, though, the moon connecting to Pluto, reminding us you have the strength. You have the courage, you have the ability to be present with these energies. And the more you're present with them, the more you will see them deplete, leave, release. Just like this. Rather than hanging out and, you know, what is it? Oh, getting that image from Elf. <laughs> like, what are those jack-in-the-box things where they jump out at you and he's like, ah. Exactly. <laughs> so we move away from that, the more we're able to hold this presence energy. Um, after, after we move through that energy, though, we have the moon shifting into Sagittarius. So that's like 3 p.m. Actually, moon in Sagittarius is lovely to have for New Year's Eve, right? So about 3 p.m. Pacific time, moon into Sagittarius, and the only connection it's making is with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is still hanging out at zero degrees Pisces. There is a square here, but the square feels like the challenge it is, the challenge we may have to like, coming back to this card, have the courage to believe in our wildest dreams. And Sagittarius is like, believe it, believe it. And then at the same time is like, well, is this logical? Does this make sense? Can this actually happen for me? And Pisces is like, believe it, believe it, believe in the magic. That being said, there is a square there, so there may be some challenge final thing I want to mention is we do still have the sun building into uh, a trine with with Uranus, <laughs> of course. Um, they're going to meet that trine, of course, in the first few hours of January 1st, 2022. If that's not telling you what kind of year we're setting up for, I don't know what does. <laughs> but do be aware that that Uranus energy can be very triggering for the nervous system. Take time to ground in, check with your grounding cord, expand it, and recognize that Uranus loves to liberate us from those triggers. So even though we have this one big event 
closing up shop for now, this Mercury, Venus, Pluto thing, it'll all be back because <laughs> retrogrades. But for now, this is this is completing. However, there's more work to do, as always. So <laughs> have the courage, show up for this energy. Um, and the final card I didn't show you, Beyond Illusion. Don't be afraid of your truth. Don't be afraid of these things. The fear is what ultimately disempowers you. Being able to face that fear and hold space for it and recognize that it may have deeper roots to go into, that's where your empowerment ends up growing from. That's where your flower ends up coming from, you know? So, presence. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. Uh, you can book a reading. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.